So I was trying to figure out what to film today and I figured I might as well go old school. I don't have any plans, there's no theme to this. Just like a regular vlog like I used to do. So the air quality in Portland is really bad today. I'm using a different camera so hopefully it'll show the color. But check this out. I don't know if it's going to show up but the sunlight coming through the windows is orange. Um, yeah, I don't know if that comes through, but uh, yeah, the sky is really filled with smoke and it's super windy outside. So, as some of the people in the Discord group know that I've been chatting with, um, I'm not addicted to watching the riot stuff going on, but at the same time, when I try to take a break, I still have to check in. And I had to modify my setup a little bit. <laughs> I think it's wearing on my brain. But anyways, let's go up front real quick and I wanna show you the wind and the sky. It's, um, well, I've got all the air cleaners running, air cleaners running full blast in here because outside is a hostile, harsh environment. I guess in more ways than one. I even have an air cleaner running here in the garage. So look at this. Normally you can see the mountains there and the hills. But, um, yeah, not so much right now. Yeah, we're having wind gusts up to like 50 miles an hour right now. I guess uh, all the smoke is blowing in from elsewhere, but, um, yeah, you just can't see anything. Like, even looking down at the end of the street, you can just see there's smoke in the air. I've been watering the lawn just enough so that, um, it's not completely dead. <laughs> uh, water's expensive here though. Oh yeah, check this out. Oh, it's hard to see, but we're staring at the sun right there. And it's not even that bright. So as far as outside activities for the next couple of days, probably not gonna happen. Um, I can always find something to do though. Looks like some of the flowers are starting to come back here. At least down here at the end. Oh, I should probably check on the rose bushes. Yeah, it looks like some of these are coming back. I uh, kind of forgot to water them for an extended period of time, so I'm gonna, I've got a soaker hose now. Windy. I've got a soaker hose now that I can turn on and uh, water them. Ugh, this yard's bumpy. Yeah, I've got a few coming back now. I don't know if this color comes across on the camera, but in real life it's like almost fluorescent looking, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it looks like most of the birds have picked the seeds out of the sunflower here. I keep forgetting I have drones. Um, so I've got my good one over here charging up the batteries. Uh, it takes hours to charge like seven batteries up, but I did get a few aerial photos earlier of the smoke and whatnot. I'd like to go downtown or at least closer to uh, the downtown Portland area and get some shots of the smog and stuff and kind of compare the difference between when the sky isn't filled with smoke and when it is. It's a very stark difference. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go back inside. It's hot and smells weird out here. I 
I think I need a new mindset with some things. So the Quantum Forefront, crazy ongoing saga. I haven't done like an official update on it. Got both of the motors swapped out. I'm still getting the motor output defect errors. Um, and then last night I was about to get into bed and I looked down and it looked like there was some oil on the floor right where my chair normally parks. And I was like, that's strange. I don't think I had any oil in here. Uh, so I got out the flashlight, looked underneath the chair, the motors and the gearboxes seem fine. But then I realized the rear shocks are leaking, both of them. So motor gearboxes, everything there looked fine. Front shocks looked fine. But I ran my hand down along here on the back of the shock. See how it's all wet? Um, yeah. And both sides are like that. So at the moment I'm waiting again for insurance approval to replace a bunch of the parts that were broke and more bolts that were broken and stripped out when they replaced the motors. Um, I'm not gonna go into the details of how when you break something you shouldn't get someone else to pay for the fix, but now that I'm seeing these shock absorbers are leaking, my whole thing was like, look, if the controller is weird and the motors are weird, whatever, fine, I'll deal with it. But this chair has uh, like 111 miles on it, I think. Yeah, there you can see on the bottom, 111 miles. Apparently these shocks cost like $600 each. Obviously medical markup there, but I'm not even sure how to process this information right now. Um, and to be honest with the troubles I've had with the DME, I'm not gonna dwell on this, but I'm kind of afraid to call them and say, hey, uh, something else is broken. My attorney is really trying to push me towards the lemon law thing. But the problem is, I like the chair, and I like the suspension, but if the suspension's not gonna be reliable, eh, other problem is it's gonna take six to eight months to get another chair, and I don't know what other brand I would want. I mean, Permobile, I guess, but I already have a brand new F3 in the other room, and to get the seating set up on that is, well, it's not ideal for what I need, but anyways, that's where I'm at with this. I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe I should look for something else. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get back up on the floor now. A friend just texted me, I guess he's in town. Wow, look at the wind, holy cow. Like flagpole almost looked like it was gonna snap in half there for a second. Anyways, a friend's gonna be in town, so I think he's gonna come over and we're gonna hang out for a bit. Um, as weird as it is outside, I think we might drive around and just look at some stuff. I think that might be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, again, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just picking up the camera and filming. I don't know, there's just so many things swirling around in my head right now. I don't even know what to think about anything. Um, Portland's going to hell in a handbasket. My chair is falling apart. When I complain about it, people call me interesting names. <laughs> um, I was gonna say first world problems, but I don't know. Uh, I think, anyways, what I was, hang on, set this thing down. So what I was saying about the change of mindset, um, with everything else going on and also the problems with my chair and everything, I've started thinking that it's probably time to kind of try and like reclaim my life a little bit. I'm not saying I'm gonna go out and like start fights with people, um, but I think there needs to be some pushback in a way that gets the things I need done taken care of. Like I said, I, I don't wanna call the DME and tell them about my chair, but at the same time, it's like, it's not my fault. I need something that works. I've been screwing with this for a year. Um, so I don't know, it, kind of hard to explain, but I just sort of woke up the other day and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of everything. <laughs> I, like I'm even having trouble forming words right now. I just, I've been in this state of everything just being so crazy and out of whack for so long that 
I, I need to figure out a way to, to push forward. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, anyways, my friend's gonna be here in a bit, and then uh, I'll probably pick up the camera and figure out what we're gonna do, so. Oh, good news, I just remembered. Uh, I'm going out on a friend's boat tomorrow, a different friend. So we're gonna roll that into this video. That'll be exciting. Uh, he's got sort of a party barge, flat deck, pontoon style boat that's got a little fold down ramp and some other stuff on it. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that later in this video. Which by the way, I've been out on it before. There was, I think one other video, the closing clip was on a boat, but I didn't really explain it. But yeah, I think that's gonna be cool. Um, power keeps going on and off. So yeah, I guess when my friend gets here, we're just gonna drive around and find something to do. Uh, the van's got cabin air filtration, so I figured that should be good enough. But yeah, I went around and unplugged some of the stuff because when there's power surges around here, well, when the power blinks on and off, there tends to be massive surges. But apparently they're doing rolling blackouts for some reason because of the wind. I don't understand why Portland would have to do that, but anyways. Um, yeah, fun stuff. I just realized something. Um, with the power going in and out, I my main method of getting in and out of the house is through the garage. And I just realized if there's no power, I can't get in or out. Well, I mean, I can get out, but I can't like lock the place up. So, when my friend gets here, I'm gonna have him help me unblock this door over here. There's just a pile of stuff in front of that door, and I can get to that and lock it, that way I can get in and out of the house, but these machines on the floor here, it's some old school printing equipment from the 50s but those weigh like 65 pounds each. So I'm gonna have him give me a hand clearing that out and then we'll be good. Dang. Yeah, this is a different. Air is so bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's just so disgusting. <laughs> that glow, ugh. <laughs> so apparently outdoor activities are not a thing. I probably will not be going boating tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's kind of gross out here. Apparently the air quality index is like really close to 200 in some nearby areas, so yeah. I think boating, come on light, work with me. There we go. So apparently boating tomorrow is probably off the table because the air quality index peaked at like 201 today and there's a lot of smoke in the air, which gave me an idea. <clears throat> Other than not being able to speak very well. Um, I'm going to take this thing and one other thing in the garage outside. I want to try something. By the way, my uh, friend helped me clear out that path to the back door now. So when the power's out, I can still get in and out of the house and lock it up. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> um, oh yeah, outside. Yeah, looks like the rest of the drone batteries are done charging. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's see if this works. Yep, you can totally see the beam of light. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Now, uh, this is a laser rangefinder shines laser beams. Let's see if we can see this. Yeah, not quite. It's a pretty, pretty low power laser in this thing. But it is approximately 108 feet to the neighbor's shed across the street. I guess that's something. Oh. Uh, it's a little bit less than 100 milliwatts, 0.95 milliwatts. So, yeah, not the most powerful thing in the world. So I just remembered I also have this 8,700 lumen arc lamp. Um, I'm curious how this will work. <clears throat> this thing, oh wait, this thing takes about 30 seconds to warm up though. So let's pre-warm it up before we go out there. There we go. I think that's good. Wow, look at all the garbage in the air. That's crazy.
Well, it's the next day now, next morning or afternoon, whatever. So the power has been going on and off here since yesterday. We have extremely high winds gusting to like 65 miles an hour and traffic lights and internet lines and power lines are down all over the place. So driving around or running around outside is actually pretty dangerous, but the smoke seems to have mostly blown clear. So right now I can actually see the hills nearby, which is awesome. And I can go outside without feeling like I'm sticking my head in a fireplace. Regardless though, I got out the Big Daddy um, air cleaner and I've got another air cleaner over there. I got one in the garage, a couple in the back of the house. When I went out yesterday with my friend to get some food, we were gonna go to this one place and get some chicken wings, but then I realized very quickly that the air was bad enough that I was having an issue. So we turned around and just hit Wendy's on the way back, which as far as fast food goes, I think Wendy's is probably the best um, quality perhaps, and I don't eat there that often, so. That was a treat. But anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, just got off the phone with my insurance company and also the DME, and I let them know about the shocks on the back of this chair that are leaking again, and that I'm also getting the motor one output defect errors. It was actually kind of nice to have the insurance person on the line while I explained that to them, because I was a little bit afraid of how they might react to me causing problems <laughs> with my new chair, so. That's all in the works. Friday, I have a telephone appointment. Apparently I have to talk to my doctor for them to give approval to repair the parts that were broken. I don't know, whatever, but um, eh, things are moving along. I can't complain. As far as going boating today goes, I guess that's not gonna happen. Uh, things are a little bit crazy as far as weather and all that. What is this? Oh man, someone just sent me a picture. There's wildfires across the street from his house. Anyways, I think he's pulling the boat out of the water for the season at this point, so... I did film some stuff on the boat, like, a month ago, so I guess insert footage here. This just in. Lots of new boat-related footage. So, my friend did pull his boat out of the water. Turns out it's not for the rest of the season, but mostly because the place is being evacuated because of the fires. So, I've got some footage from them when they did that earlier this afternoon. And then we'll jump into the footage of maybe a month ago when I was out on their boat. And then I go off on some sort of tangent about a old 32 foot boat I used to own. But anyways, enjoy a few minutes of boat related content. And fires. See what they say? Yeah, because it may be closed beyond there and this is where they're turning them around. Hi, we were just wondering if you could get to the lake because he's got a boat up there he wanted to check on. But um, um well, they're coming they're down. They're evacuating right now. Oh, they are. So let me go ask, but that's okay. okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Are they evacuating the boat out there then? I mean, I I think you may be able to go get your boat. Let me go ask. Get your boat. Okay. I was just doing fast. They're evacuating right now, though, so like. All right. Okay. Have a nice Thank day. You. Thank you. I, I may need you to come down and help me fight fire. Ulrich will bring the disc down if we got to start disc and field. So, I want to see what happens. I'm getting hope. I don't. All right, bye. Yeah, we were just up here 10 minutes ago and we didn't see it billowing like that. We saw the. Well, them guys just sitting around, see? Yeah. Um, should we go? The fire's started, should we go? Wait.
<laughs> the stabilization only works so well when you're on a thing that's bouncing up and down. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> totally stable. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, and that old uh, that old yacht thing I had had um yeah. This is louder. Um, that old yacht thing I had had uh, auto helm navigation, so you could put it in mode and it would keep you on course really? based on some compass, something or other. Yeah. Well, it had a great big actuator that would connect inside the dash to the wheel, and uh, it was designed to keep you on course. And then you could go up top, and it had a flying bridge with a big chain that connected the wheel. Uh, so you keep it on course long enough to go upstairs and take over control from up there. It's pretty neat. Never really got to take any trips in it though, because it was constantly trying to sink. <laughs> Not to mention that thing used a lot of fuel. It was big and heavy when those dual V8s had 250 gallon gasoline tanks on it. And uh, I think it was, I want to say it was like 15 to 20 gallons an hour when you were at 15 knots or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was considered a speedboat of the day, getting up above like 25, 28 knots or something like that. For something that big, that was pretty good. That's really good. Yeah, I got out in the middle of the shipping lane though and the bilge warning started coming on. I pulled up the floor and looked down and there was a bunch of oil on top of the water and I couldn't see because it was dark. So it looked like it was a lot deeper than it was. I was like, all right, I'm calling the Coast Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys were cool though. They were like not rude or anything at all. They were just like willing to help and all that. So Good. they even hopped on the neighbor's boat when I was pulling in to make sure I didn't bump into it. <laughs> there hasn't been too many people going crazy fast out here. to burn some fuel or floating the lower in the front now. Oh yeah, plenty of space. Ooh. That'll do. Okay, John. You're gonna have to get rid of those old halogen lights for some LEDs. No, I need my house. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Not a good look, halogen. <laughs> but yeah that day i wasn't like necessarily planning on filming i just brought the camera and got like some random b-roll as it were but anyways nice to have this back door cleared out now so i can use that as far as the internet that keeps going out here i have multiple internet connections and some of them are cellular so that's worked out really well um <laughs> yeah it's a little interesting when weather gets strange, but uh, yeah, whatever. I guess you gotta be prepared. And I've got backup power supplies on almost everything in the house anyways. It's just a little bit obnoxious because when the power goes out, I have to get up and reset the controller on my bed, but yeah, whatever. I do still have that six kilowatt generator. It's mounted to that wheelchair base right back here. Let's see. There you can just barely see it. I got cans of gasoline for that and an interface up, out back so I can plug the thing into the house if I need to, but so far here when the power goes out it doesn't seem to stay out for that long. So anyways, uh, yeah, random updates. I'll pick up the camera in a little bit and we'll see what's going on. All right, we've got some mail to open. The first one is from a viewer and I know it's coffee because I can smell it when they uh, plonked it down on the counter at the mailbox place, this uh, smell of coffee filled the room and she actually commented on it. So the question is, what kind of coffee is it? All right, oh, this is a giant bag. Oh, wow, that, it's bigger than my head. What do we got here? Oh, sweet, it's, uh, so he sent this one time before, I believe. Earthy honey and hops blend. Sunshine in a cup. Sweet, thanks man. I, uh, the timing's always perfect. I know I say it every single time, but uh, whenever someone sends coffee, it's always perfect timing. Actually, 
actually had to buy some of my own last week, so that was a little bit tragic. <laughs> I haven't had to do that in a while. But this is what, like three, five pounds of coffee. So thank you, <laughs> this is gonna last a while. And then this next item here is courtesy of Dr. Shortbus. He, uh, well I actually bought this myself, but he's one of those extreme couponers, and uh, yes, you are if you're watching this. <laughs> um, this is supposedly a pack of like all of the GoPro accessories that exist, and it was like $10. I think it's got like a chest strap, maybe a head strap, and a bunch of other random stuff. It's all knockoff stuff, but you know, you can never have too many mounts for everything. <gasps> it comes in a bag. Just the bag, just this thing is worth $10. Why is this blinking at me? Oh, there's only four minutes of video left on the SD card. I better hurry. Yeah, for $10, this is awesome. Uh, I don't, I think the deal's already over, otherwise I'd put the link below. Plus Amazon kind of has this thing where when one of these deals go through and a bunch of people start buying it, they have this dynamic pricing. So it was supposed to be like $9.98, and I think I paid like $11 or $12 for all of it because a bunch of people started ordering it, but. Yeah, anyways, uh, coffee. I'm gonna get some of that in the cold brewer right now. And then uh, I have no idea what's next. Um, I'm not really filming anything else today, so this will be inserted in a random video. So yeah, I guess they were evacuating the marina down near where his boat was at. Or actually, the boat where it was at. Anyways, they got it back to their place now. But apparently the fires are getting closer to its place, and the smoke is back now. There's this eerie glow again to the sunlight so we're still having some pretty high sustained winds and uh, power is still blinking on and off lots of interesting stuff going on but anyways there you go that was my last day or two um, yeah I'm gonna start doing just more random vlogs like I used to do like this just grabbing the camera and talking about random stuff because uh, there's not a lot of places to go and things to do at the moment and being outside is super dangerous so, yay, look forward to more random content. I'll see you guys in a couple of days, I think. Something like that. I don't know. But yeah, if you're subscribed, you'll get notifications when I post something. I think it's the first time I've ever said to do that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys later.